hey guys good afternoon welcome back to my channel how you are doing i hope you're doing well on this our new weight loss and fitness <laughs> fitness journey i hope you guys are you know yeah um doing your best to make sure that um we keep those uh, those um calories uh, off our hips and our back so that uh, we become healthier so i said i was going to show you guys um the replacement meals i'm using currently um to replace rice which is our most um the most um popular staple meals for most people from african background so today i'm about to make my lunch and um, i want to share with you guys what i am using at the moment for replacement meals so i'll start with this one it's called it's banana quinoa. again quinoa 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 <laughs> so yeah so this is how this is pronounced so i've got white quinoa here um you can find it in any supermarket um this is the white one and this is the this one is um is different it's tricolor this one is called tricolor tricolor quinoa yeah this one is tricolor so you can see the seeds are different it's got different uh, seeds inside uh why this one is just white yeah, this one is just white, and this one has got um, different seeds. I don't know why else I got these small ones. Anyway, that's one. Um, this is one um, thing that you can use to replace rice. It's very, very high in protein and fiber, this one. So um, you get your protein intake from this one, and you also get fiber, which makes makes you go to the toilet as often as possible to help your digestion. So this is the main one, couscous. Uh, so this is the one I'm having at the moment. This whole meat, whole uh, wheat. So you got the white one, just like you have white rice and you have uh, brown rice. Then you have um, this one too. Couscous got white one. As we all know, with anything that is white, it's usually not the, the the healthiest option. So the whole wheat one, if you want to buy, buy the whole wheat one. You can find them in any supermarket, any major supermarket um, in Europe or America. So I'm going to make sauce with my mackerel fish. This is my mackerel fish, smoked mackerel, um, that I like a lot. And I've got chopped tomatoes, and I've got seasoning here. This is um, garlic, this is organo, and this is basil. And of course, I've got my curry powder, and um, I've got onions. And then I've got, uh, this is this is crayfish from Niger, and there's pepper here, blended pepper here. And then um, I've got my seasoning, which is um, the maggi. I usually use no cube, but I just found out I ran out. So this is all I have in the house. So I just use this one. So I'm going to show you how I make the sauce and how I make this quinoa and couscous. And I'm going to make, and I'll just show you the process of making this sauce and how it really takes good. I'm telling you guys. So yeah. So here are my ingredients again. Uh, I've just opened the... Um, the tomatoes, the chopped tomatoes. I've washed the mackerel fish and removed the head. Some people like the head, but I don't like the head. So I've just removed the head. I've sliced the onions and this is the, um, this is the couscous. I've just rinsed it. What I did was I put some here and then I rinsed it like uh, three, three or four times. So I'm just, it's just ready now for me to pour hot water. And this is the key one. I did the same thing with this. I poured some here, you can see. And I'm just going to be uh, pouring hot water on it. Yeah, just rinse them. Um, not like you wash rice, but just to rinse um, uh, whatever it is that is uh, the little death that is on it. Just rinse it off on the sink. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pour water now. I start with the couscous. This couscous cooks very easily. So, just pour just enough water. I will not make it soggy so I'm just gonna put just to cover it so once the water just gets to like the top of it um, yeah you can see it's just on the same level with it then I'll leave it I'll leave it like that because if you put too much water it tends to get too too soggy so but this one is a bit um, it doesn't cook as easily as this one actually I'm supposed to put this one in the fire but I'll see uh, how it turns out but this one, definitely just put water on the same level and then cover with clean thing. I'm going to cover both of them now. So that's the key one. The instruction says to cook for 12 minutes. And that is the couscous. You can see it's already rising. That cooks really, really quick. So I'm just going to cover this. 
and allow it cook for 12 minutes while I make my sauce. So I add just like a teaspoon of olive oil. Yeah, because uh, as you know, oil is another thing that uh, we need to be careful uh, with. So yeah, just like a teaspoon of olive oil there. And I allow it to heat up for a minute. Put my onions in the flavor. I just allow it to dice until it is brown in color. So there you can see because I use very little oil, you can see the pan is dry. There's no excess oil leaking on the pan. So now I'm just gonna pour my Chopped tomatoes, that's it. Uh, I'm thinking if I can use the two or just use one. I don't want it to be too much. Let me just do it. So it's splashing already. I might use one and a half. I don't want it to be too much. Because I like to make a different one like every other day. So if I can have one that will just last for two days, that's okay. I don't want it to be too much. So I've decided to use one and a half. Just allow it to sit there. I reduce the heat and allow it to just cook for about three minutes. Okay, so it's bulge, you can see bubbling. So I'm gonna add my seasoning now. I'll start by adding pepper. I'll start by adding some pepper to this. We call it pepper. We will call it pepper. <laughs> so I'll put like two teaspoons because. I want it to be hot. Always like spicy, you know. In it. We always love spicy foods. So that's my pepper. Put some oregano. Spray some. Sprinkle just a little. As you know, we never measure anything. Our measurement is in our is in our brain. <laughs> Garlic. <laughs> and some basil. Just a little bit. We never measure anything. African cooking. Hey. Yeah, that's that's that together. Because the micro is already cooked, so it's gonna be the last thing I'll put. Yeah. I'll put the Maggi Maggi inside. And crayfish. I just, I just put the maggi sauce yeah. here, sprinkle all over it, and then I put the crayfish. Just put some crayfish to make it tasty. Not too much. Can I feel the food fish? That's yes. And then, this is the final bit of it. I pour my macro fish. That's my macro. This snack crab breaks easily, so I'm just gonna leave it here. I'm not gonna stay it. Sometimes the fresh one is better because you can just boil it slightly before you use it. But this is smoked one, so it breaks easily, so I'll just leave it. I'm not gonna stay it so that it doesn't break further. So here is the final product. That's my couscous. I just covered it and left it for about um, 10 minutes so it's coming out looking very nice and here you have the quah 
Kyun Kyunyo. How's it called again? How's it pronounced again? Kyunyo. Kunyo. This is it. Kyunyo. Kimwo. No, it's Kimwo. Here you have the quinoa. I've cooked it. You can see how it looks. It's seed, uh, so it's kind of crunchy. So I can either have this one, and this is going to last for a couple of days. Me and Esther are on the same diet now, so I'm cooking for two. So two of us are on one diet. The rest of them are on another diet. So this is our diet, and this is how I want to do it with. So this is my quinoa, and this is my sauce. And I'm going to serve what I'll have now. I'm going to, just going to take a bit of the quinoa because I, I don't want couscous today. I had couscous yesterday. So... And this is what I tend to eat for lunch. This is my lunch go to now. I'm gonna take some of this. Okay, one. Well. Yeah, that's it. Take some of that. Yeah, and then I put my sauce. Put my sauce. Yeah, that's my fish sauce. Yeah, so yeah, this is my lunch. It looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, so it's got titles there. And the fact that he hasn't got <laughs> he hasn't got carbohydrates in it, there, it's just making my bite to sweet me. That at least eating this one for my lunch is gonna be okay because I know I'm not piling in the carbs on my body. And for if for my dinner, I'm just gonna have a salad. That's what I'm having. I always tend to have the salad in the evening because it's good to have the heavy meal uh, for lunch. So this is my lunch and for dinner, I'm going to have a salad. So I hope you guys learned how to uh, cook uh, quinoa and um, if you didn't know how to make couscous before or uh, if you didn't know the replacement uh, for rice, you want to cut out rice, you want to cut out pounded yam, you want to cut out yam and those heavy uh, foods, uh, African foods that are so heavy in carbohydrates. Because remember, the journey is all about fitness and it's a lifestyle change that we are trying to do here so yeah this is my lunch let me twist it and even see <laughs> let me taste it and see what it tastes like put a lot of pepper in it i hope it's not too hot mm. it's crunchy it's different from couscous it's crunchy this is kind of crunchy and it's not bad it's not bad at all, so I'm just gonna drink this and yeah, lunch is served. Before I sign out, I'm just gonna encourage you guys to drink a lot of water. So water is also very, very good. That you swap out those juices and other liquids that you drink and pop and um, fizzy drinks for water. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm drinking two. Um, I'm drinking two of these bottles. So this is two liter bottle water. So I tend to drink two of two of these so that's four liters i aim to drink four liters every day and if you struggle with water some people don't like the taste of water and you struggle with drinking still water this is what i'm using i'm using this vitamin d feeds so i just put one you can see the color of the water you see how it doesn't look white because i put one of this inside so what i do is that i'll take one tablet in the morning i take one of these tablets i break one half and put it in this and, and the other half in that one it just slightly changes the taste and it tastes like uh, like you're having a juice or uh you're having a it's not water it removes the taste and it gives it a little bit of taste that will, will make it easier for you to drink so that's what i'm doing so if you struggle with water make sure that you you get one of these you can get it in vitamin c d or any of the vitamins and just put it in and drink it drink loads and loads and loads of water remember if you are working and you're trying to you know um do those um, the changes in the diet and the exercise water is very very good to rejuvenate your body your skin yeah so i'll leave you here today don't forget to follow me on instagram if you have not yet done so and then um, every day i'm posting and sharing my meals and updates from other people people are telling me what they are eating i'm sharing what i'm eating as well we are in this together and together we can win one day at a time baby steps but together, we can make this lifestyle changes. Remember, what works for one person might not work for another person. The important thing is that we are consistent and we are doing this daily, making small changes to our, our meals and also those exercises, walking or whatever kind of exercise that you enjoy doing. Make sure that you're doing them regularly, preferably daily. And the results will come. Today is the 1st of June. Challenge yourself and let's see what happens. Let's put a challenge uh, between now and the end of June and see what we're going to lose. So... 
uh, I've taken a measurement or uh, what they call I've taken my weight today first of June and at the end of June I will be very happy to share with you guys what I have lost so far so yeah you two can do it let's go let's go let's go thanks a lot for watching guys I love you bye